Hey, what's up? So, before I turned the camera on, I was trying to think of this big old long thing about fluoride and all this stuff that I'm going to say. And I basically just decided I'm just going to kind of wing it and just say fluoride sucks for adding in, in your water. A lot of cities and a lot of areas are adding fluoride into your water system. So, they're getting the water and they're adding in fluoride. So, you need to specifically call and contact your city or your water district company or whatever who's supplying your water and find out if they're fluoridating the water. If they are, then maybe you can work on trying to get something going to have them stop fluoridating your water. And if not, then you're gonna need to either buy a reverse osmosis system for at least drinking water or find some kind of a filter to get it out of your uh, water. There are a lot of people out there and there are a lot of groups that are very, very anti-fluoride. And then of course there are some people that are kind of pro-fluoride. From a dental standpoint or a dentist standpoint, they might say fluoride is, be fluoride is beneficial for your teeth. If you want to have fluoride for your teeth and you want to use fluoride for um, you know, your toothpaste and stuff, that's one thing. You do not need extra fluoride or fluoride put in your water to be drinking. And if you're drinking the amount of water that you should be drinking, you don't need extra fluoride. Nobody has said, oh, you need to ingest more fluoride. What drives me crazy is if I go to the, when I go to the store and stuff, I will see jugs of baby water that has added fluoride in it. What the hell does the added, what, what do you need added fluoride in for? You're ingesting in fluoride. So the fluoride is, there's kind of a couple different kinds. There's like basically like a waste fluoride, waste from product and just nastiness and then there's a natural fluoride so we get natural fluoride in certain foods and drinks and stuff that we have just kind of naturally uh, not really much we can do about that but it's also from a natural source it's a and it's a limited amount so I don't think that we need to be adding into the water I would rec highly recommend you check with your city have them take it out and if they won't take it out find filters and use filters to at least take it out of the water that you're consuming and that you're drinking. There are a lot of people in the United States and a lot of people that have what's called or get what's called dental fluorosis, which is basically white spots on your teeth from too much fluoride. Guess what? I have that. That's from too much fluoride as a kid, basically. Look it up, dental fluorosis. I'm sure a lot of people have that. So either way, people are trying to fight to at least get the fluoride levels down more and just like everything I always talk about there's a lot of money and people exchanging hands and stuff like that so why are they putting it in the water supply they're gonna tell you that they're putting it in the water supply so you, you drink it and it goes on your teeth and it's good for your teeth but what's really going on with it um, I don't know I would really really recommend that you don't buy those one gallon jugs of water that are like pink it says like I think nursery or something on it <clears throat> and it says fluoride and they have little kids bottles little kids water bottles with added fluoride what does a six-year-old kid need fluoride in their water even if it is a dental thing those teeth are falling out in a year or two anyways why do they need to be ingesting and drinking in fluoride going into their whole system that's beyond me but like I said money somebody's paying money somewhere and doing some shady stuff that's my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Bye.